history, culture, art, music, architecture. This place is famous for multiple reasons. So are you guys ready to explore with me this beautiful island? Let's go. Hey my beautiful people, good morning. So another day, another vlog. And this time I am traveling to a very beautiful country. It's 4 a.m. Uh, I had to get up a little early because my flight is scheduled for 6 a.m. and the boarding time is 5, 10 a.m. Um, I have already booked my cab. My cab will be here at 4.30. I'm gonna go get ready. Let's get started. And I'm ready. On time, it's 4.30 a.m. Uh, my cab is already uh, downstairs. So now I'm going to take the cab. And where are we going? I will let you know once we reach there. It's a beautiful place. Let's go. By the way, I had booked the cab yesterday only since uh, we supposed to leave by 4.30. So I was worried how I'm going to find any uh, commute. But the good part is that you can book cab in advance. So our cab is here right on time. And we have reached airport. It's 4.50 a.m. I was expecting that it is going to be so calm. There will be no people since it's very early morning flight. But you know what? It was not less crowded. Surprisingly, there was long line even for backdrop. Even though we had already checked in online, it took us nearly 30 minutes to get through it. So no matter what, always have some extra time with you. And by the way, one of the reasons that I take early morning or night flights to get this view. I personally like it pretty much. And then when you take early morning flight, you also get to see sunrise. Ah, uh, and here is the view. I understand that I might have been able to capture it more effectively, but this is the best I could achieve from my window. To be completely honest, the naked eye view was far more impressive. And we have reached. Welcome to Palermo guys. Palermo is a city located on the island of Sicily, which is the largest island in the Mediterranean Sea and is a part of Italy. Okay, so we have reached airport. We had to get up at 4. We took the taxi at 4.30 from Luxembourg to Luxembourg airport and that is because there was no public uh, transport available in the morning. Uh, we reached here at 8 am. We were about to take the taxi which was costing us 60 euros. But then we realized that just downstairs uh, in the basement they have train station as well. So we are going to take the train from here. I am pretty sure that it will cost much lesser than uh, taxi and why I'm not quoting the price right now because the machine here uh, was not working so we could not take the ticket from there but we got to know that the, the ticket collector can give you the ticket so we are going to purchase it from directly uh, ticket collector and then I will let you know how much we paid for the train so this is one important tip try to take public convince as much as you can so from train we will get down at Palermo central station and from there, our hotel is just five minutes away. So our hotel is very close to the train station. And we have reached Palermo Central, the train station. From here, we just have to walk for five minutes to our hotel. But before that, we are going to eat something and we saw Magdi here. 
After having our lunch, we started exploring Palermo. The reason was that our hotel was not ready since we reached early. So we started exploring since it was our first day and we had traveled all the way from Luxembourg to Palermo that too early morning flight. We were little tired um, but we knew that Palermo is beautiful and we want to explore so much so we didn't want to waste our time. We started with the stunning architecture of Palermo. And we got the call, our room is ready so now we are going to do the check-in and then we'll start exploring in the evening. Welcome! So this is our home for a few days. So as you can see, we have taken an apartment. So basically it's hotel come apartment. Uh, we have our kitchen. We have everything we need. This hotel is over the top for me because they have got a jet spray in the bathroom. I mean, come on, this place is taking luxury to a whole new level. So this is our apartment. Uh, we are a little tired. Now we are going to take some rest. So see you after some time. Bye bye. And after taking some rest, we started exploring again. And right now we are in Vayamakweda, Palermo's most vibrant street. It's like the city's central hub, also known as heart of Palermo, always dimming with people and activity, one of the most visited places for tourists as well. It offers a lot to do, including variety of local brands alongside big names like Gucci, Parada, Zara, UCV. So you will have a lot to do. Let's see how much we get to explore and I am very excited. And this place is always busy, whether it is day or night, this street is always pumping. It is full of restaurants and bars and shops and they have such a lively atmosphere here. So if you are ever considering a trip to Palermo, don't forget to include this place on your list. It's truly fascinating. Next on our list of the most beautiful spots in Palermo is Bondello Beach. So we wanted to go and explore beach and also we wanted some break from this bustling city life. So what we did, we took this uh, auto rickshaw ride till the Bondello Beach and it was a really nice experience. The beach looks beautiful right now. Palermo is also known for its delightful sweets. So we wanted to try some and that's how we ended our day. Good morning people. Today is day two and we have already started exploring Palermo. So today we are exploring the street food market in Palermo, which is very famous by the way. So here you will not only find these vegetables, but also the local food of Palermo. You will see people from different, different country coming together, making variety of foods to offer. So we saw a lot of people. I also smell a lot of fish, um, but that's fine because I literally like this place and the way they have kept it, the feel and everything was quite different because this is something I'm exploring and uh, experiencing for the first time in Europe. 
and these markets are super busy with lots of people both from here and visitors there are good reasons why they are always full of uh, people so people come because they have yummy food to try one reason these places show the culture of the city it feels real and authentic uh, the markets are exciting with lots of things happening you can meet and chat with the local people you can buy nice stuff and reminders of your visit one of the reason that this place is always crowded with tourist because they get to experience uh, the fusion of history tradition and taste making it an unforgettable part of their journey through sicily And after exploring the street food market, we have boarded our train to our next destination, which is most beautiful place in Sicily. So stay tuned for part two.